गुड मॉर्निंग वी आर फ्रॉम एस वी एस एम्बेडेड द प्रोजेक्ट टाइटल नेम इज कॉल डिजाइन ऑफ एन इंटेलिजेंट कॉम्बोट रोबोट फॉर वॉरफील्ड और सेल्फ रेगुलेशन रोबोट फॉर मिलिट्री एप्लीकेशन इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट आई एम यूजिंग एन बैटरी पावर सोर्स नॉट ट्रांसफार्मर आई एम यूजिंग वायरलेस कैमरा इट इज एन टू पॉइंट फोर गीगा हेड कैमरा सो दो आर ए वी कैमराज ओके आई एम यूजिंग पी सी एंड वन जिगबी मॉड्यूल दैट इज आर एफ जिगबी मॉड्यूल टू पॉइंट फोर गीगा हेड ट्रांस रिसीवर आई एम यूजिंग सो ही लाइक दिस आई एम यूजिंग एन कैमरा सो दिस इज ए वी कैमरा सो वी आर गिविंग दीज टू आउटपुट टू दी यू एस बी दैट इज ए वी टू यू एस बी कन्वर्टर एंड आई एम गिविंग एन नाइन वोल्स पावर सप्लाई फाइव हंड्रेड मिली एम्स दिस इज ट्रांसमीटर यूनिट एंड दिस इज रिसीवर यूनिट यू कैन कनेक्टेड टू दी कंप्यूटर और यू कैन कनेक्टेड टू दी टी वीज बट डिपेंड्स अपॉन यूर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड दिस इज माई ब्लॉक डायग्राम इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट आई एम यूजिंग एन आर्म सेवन एल पी सी टू वन फोर एट इट्स एन थर्टी टू बिट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो इन दिस माइक्रो कंट्रोलर आई एम इंटरफेसिंग अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर इट्स एन अपस्टेकल सेंसर अप टू वन मीटर डिस्टेंस इट कैन डिटेक्ट इधर एबस्टेकल इज प्रेजेंट आर एबसेंट इफ द प्रेजेंट द रोबोट विल बी टेक लेफ्ट डायरेक्शन और राइट डायरेक्शन डिपेंड अपॉन माई रिक्वायरमेंट एंड देर इज वन अनदर सेंसर दैट सेंसर इज मेटल डिटेक्टर सेंसर here normal metal detector sensor it will detect the metal and it will gives the input to the microcontroller microcontroller if the metal is detected then the robot will be stops and it gives the alarm and it gives sending the sms to the predefined mobile number of gprs latitude and longitude values and i'm going to control the robot by using a zigbee with forward backward left right stop If the robot is going on the forward direction, if I am giving a forward command, then ultrasonic sensor, it if the robot is going forward di direction, any obstacle will come. The robot will uh, fetch some obstacle is came, so the robot will come back. It will take left and right, and it goes forward. So we have a AV camera. That AV camera is fixed on one L two nine three D one uh, DC motor upper side. So we are going to turn the a uh, robot uh, camera left direction right direction left direction right direction continuously so why because of we need to uh, get the image from front side and we are i'm using and the components arm 7 power supply l293d's zigbee module ultrasonic and alarm metal detector and wireless av camera and gsm sim 900 gprs module i'm using keel software and embedded c language Keel Micro Vision 4 Embedded C Flash Magic, so dumping the program onto the microcontroller and input output like that we have we are using an um, hyper terminal means we will see the output on the whether metal detector or not and we are giving the input from the keyboard. <coughs> so this is my unit. So so I am using a uh, two. Uh, 12 volts, 1.3 amps batteries. So one uh, battery is connected to the ARM processor board and uh, Zigbee module, uh, 16 cross 2 LCD display, uh, and one ultrasonic sensor. And this AV camera is connected to the is is uh, giving the power supply of some separate battery, and there is one. Uh, ultrasonic. Uh, there is one uh, metal detector that is given to the battery power source. Separate battery for the metal detector, camera, separate power supply, and this battery for the separate power supply with the motors. And here, separate battery is there that was connected to the G G P R S module. Sim 900. I am giving a G P R S settings. Oh, it come. It works under H T T P protocol. And so the A V camera is transmit the data. and av receiver will receive the data i am giving i am taking an easy cap so it will take input av and it is giving to the computer <coughs> they are they are giving separate cd to this and whenever you are installed you you can see the output onto the your computer uh, so this is an rf receiver 
2.4 giga gigahertz receiver and it has to be connected to the pc dongle okay so here this is an 4 pin ultrasonic obstacle sensor okay and this is in metal detector this is sim 900 850 mega to 1800 mega frequency it works under 9600 baud rate okay i'm using an airtel sim card so this is an rf model it is connected to the max 232 and that was connected to the uart1 and the uart0 it is connected to the gsm modem so here this is an arm processor development board in this development board i am taking in bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator after that i am getting 5 volts output that 5 volts is uh, giving to the lcd this is 16 cross 2 lcd display whatever the process is going on to the controller that should be displayed on the lcd and here max 232 is called it works under uh, 5 volts so it is communicate with double uart uart0 and uart1 there is internally two UART options are there so we are sending the data and we are receiving the data and we have two L293Ds are there one L293D for two DC motors another L293D is connected to the uh, this cable and here one op amp is there op amp operational amplifier will amplify the signal of here I am taking the um, metal detector it uh, gives the 9 volts output but if I am giving the 9 volts output to the uh, L29 uh, arm processor that arm processor will damage so that's why I am taking the operational amplifier will amplify the signal and gives the output of 3.5 3 volts so this will take the 3.5 volts as their input or output so here total of 64 pin IC 2 ports port 0 and port 1 Port 0 consists of 0 0.0 to 0 0.31, 31 pins. Port 1 consists of port 1.15 to 1.31, total 16. So it can execute 16 bit architecture and 32 bit architecture. Here 12 megahertz crystal is there. Crystal is the heart of the circuit for the controller to generate the clock pulses to the internal CPU to run the program. And we have a two push buttons are there. Whenever we are going to dump the program via UART0, we need to press ISP button and press and release the reset. Then only the program will be dumped onto the ARM processor. Okay. After uh, program dump, you need to execute. You need to press and release the reset button. Then only the program will be executed. So now I am going to execute this project. Wait. So I connected to the PC. One is for the uh, Zigbee module is connected to the USB and uh, AV receiver also connected to the USB cap. Okay, so here I am going to open the camera. So it is an video and this is the hyper terminal. So we have to watch the data onto the computer of uh, AV and hear the output. So now I am going to operate uh, uh, on the supply here. Wait. Uh, now I on the all the power supplies so and now I'm going to on the main power source okay you can see the output self military application wait for two seconds it will uh, send the data to the GPRS and we will get the output onto the PC okay so here uh, there is no metal detector and ultrasonic no and robot once so you can see the output okay okay now I'm going to give here here forward direction now I'm I am pressing the forward F okay it is going forward stop now I am going to send stop. Okay. Uh, now I, I want to uh, operate the camera. C. C. D for. D. Okay. We have to see the where the obstacle is present. If we if we if we continuously operate A capital A. Suppose forward direction is going. Any obstacle can it will take stop. 
stop. Back. Stop. Right. Stop. L left. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. Some metals. Suppose the robot is coming forward direction. Right. Metal is detected. It is taking the GPRS data and it is sending the data to the particular mobile number. Latitude value, longitude value. GPRS sent <coughs> here also the metal is detected SMS the continuous detector mm -hmm. pumpis pumpis hai pumpis hai achi mm -hmm. so I detected I detected the output uh, bomb detected bomb detected of latitude value and longitude value if I am pressing it will ask for the maps maps ok always it is going for the satellite yeah Venkat Reddy colony Bodupal and it is showing the lat latitude value and the longitude value with exact places ok ok I will stop the Okay, uh, uh, we are at Bare Bare. It will show the exact where the uh, where the bomb has detected latitude value and longitude value. So bomb detection using GPRS. So the GPRS module will detect the exact accident occurred. Uh, exact bomb has detected that bomb place will fetched and that should be displayed on the camera okay after that metal is detected metal is detected so now we are going for the camera to detect where the bomb is present so we are uh, taking C D means left right left right and the robot will uh, uh, so go there and we will detect that and we will diffuse that after that we are going to add some handle so diffusion we are going for a pick and place robot in this project and we are adding to the future on that thanking you if there is any doubt let me know to svs embedded